At Palim Canada, we're very excited about the um, Canadian part of Kira Atlas and uh, leading that work with um, some collaborators and partners across the country and also internationally. We've been asked, well, what is the Canadian part of Kira Atlas? Well, the Canadian part of Kira Atlas is based on similar atlases that have been done for the whole of South America, Africa, Europe, as well as country of Scotland. What it is, is a mapping, a graphical representation of the evolution of palliative care in the different countries of those continents, highlighting what palliative care services exist, what uh, their numbers are, where they're to be found, as well as an indication of policies and strategic plans that exist in the country, funding that's designated for advancing palliative care, education and integration of education across the whole learning um, journey, as well as funding, funding mechanisms, um, what is included and what's not. So the Canadian Atlas is going to be very similar to that. In fact, one of our main partners is the Atlantis Project at the Institute of Culture and Society at the University of Navarra in Spain. The Atlantis Project has actually led the development of these atlases across those different continents and they've got lots of experience in it. It's also important to say what it's not. The atlas is not a minimum data set. We are not going to be replicating, duplicating the work that's being done by other provincial and federal organizations in collecting indicators, data uh, such as uh, emergency department visits at the end of life, um, the extent to which patients are dying in hospitals versus homes. That data is already out there. We hope to refer readers to those important reports. Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this because experiencing those other continents have shown that these atlases become very powerful change agents. They really encourage improvements within countries. And in our case, a big difference is going to be that the Canadian part of Care Atlas is going to look at it uh, 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 regionally, so the different regions across the country in those provinces uh, that have uh, subdivisions within the provinces such as zones or health authorities. We're also looking at it by province and obviously also at a national uh, federal level. Pallium County is very well placed to do this work because we have 900 uh, Pallium LEAP facilitators across the country. These are physicians, nurses, social workers and other professions professionals who know their regions very well. They know what exists, uh, they know the nuances, um, they know um, they can highlight successes and innovations which we would like to spread by way of the Atlas. How are we going to do this? We're going to be using, as I said, the same methods that have been used by the Atlantis project in the other continents. We'll also be adding some other indicators that are very relevant to Canada. For example, we're going to be asking our uh, uh, facilitators across the country, are there programs to address the part of care needs of indigenous populations in your region? Are there programs to look at the needs of refugees? Are there programs to look at, um, to care for children with part of care needs? If you want to see what an atlas looks like, simply search on your browser Part of Care Atlas of Europe, Part of Care Atlas of Africa, South America, and you'll get a sample of what the Canadian Atlas is going to look like. See you then.